a very beautiful account which is mentioned by Alama Ismail Haqqi who reports from Imam Rabi Isfahani who mentions that, that Imam Shazali saw this dream. The dream was that there, was, there were a crowd of people in his dream and when he focused on that crowd he realized that the crowd of people were the Anbiya alayhi salam, Musa alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Isa alayhi salam, Nuh alayhi salam. And they were basically uh, discussing a statement of Sayyidina Hussein Hallaj alayhi rahmah. While this discussion was going on, Imam Ghazali, uh, Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam, he says to the Prophet وسلم, that you said, you said that the scholars of your nation are like the prophets of Bani Israel. Show me one. You say the scholars of your nation are like the prophets of the Bani Israel. Show me one. The Prophet وسلم, asks for Imam Ghazali and refers to him. He is one. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam asks Imam Ghazali a question and Imam Ghazali gives 10 answers. How many? 10. Sayyidina Musa alayhi salam says to him that I asked you one question, why did you give me 10 answers? You could have given me one answer. Imam Ghazali says, when Allah says to Musa alayhi salam, when Allah asks you, as mentioned in the Quran, O oh, Musa, O oh, Musa, what is in your right hand? You did not answer, you answered by mentioning all the good qualities of your staff. You could have said my staff. But you mentioned all the good qualities of your staff. The ulama comment on this and they said Imam Ghazali was trying to say that O oh, Musa, salam, O oh, beloved Musa, salam, when you had this conversation with Allah Almighty, you gained, you were in such devotion and your love for Allah Almighty was such, the nature of this love made you make that conversation longer for you wanted to speak to your Lord longer because of your love and devotion. And it, it, it was as if he was saying to Musa alayhi salam and Ghazali was, and in the same way, I enjoy this conversation with you to such an extent and my love for you is such, my admiration for you is such that I wanted this conversation to be longer, that's why I gave you 10, ten answers. Thank you. And in one uh, particular dream, again this is, uh, Imam Shazli is actually is reported about him that it was his dream. The Prophet wasallam. Uh, said to, he was talking to Musa alayhi salam and Isa alayhi salam and he said, do you have a scholar in your nations like Ghazali? They said, no, we do not have a scholar like him. So the dreams of the awliya were, just, were confirming the status and the greatness of Imam Ghazali. No, this is, we are not quoting Sahih Bukhari, but I'm sure you understand that the, if you look at it from a historical perspective, if we look at the opinions of the ulama of that time and those who came after, we learn to appreciate the greatness of such figures. And Imam Ghazali's acceptance was something which was very famous in his time and after his time. One particular, the last account uh, relates to Imam Ghazali in terms of a dream. Sayyiduna Ahmad Siyad Yamani, he dreamt. He saw angels, the, the doors of the heavens opening and a group of angels descending from the sky. They had a green heavenly robe. They took this man out of the grave. And they, then they took him for a tour. Passed through seven, 70 veils, he said. He said, I saw the veils but I did not see uh, where they ended, their limit. And later, by the end I discovered that man who was taken by the angels and was given this honor for whom a heavenly robe, robe was brought from paradise was Imam Ghazali 
His acceptance. These are come, these were confirmations of his acceptance, the signs, indications of the acceptance of the Imam. 